So, I just got done eating a box of M&Ms for you guys. So, uh, this is an example of chai squared. Chai squared is, if I open a box of M&Ms, do I get the, more or less the same number of M&Ms for each color? So, I have my results here. So, I took a box, opened it up, and counted them. I had 15 blue, 18 orange, 10 red, 7 yellow, 15 green for a total of 65. So, for chai squared, what do we expect to have? If we have equal numbers, so we expect to have the same number, we would have that total divided by our groups. So, 13. So, we put that number in here. So, the chai squared formula itself is observed minus expected. So, observed is how many we counted. Expected is what we expect to have and take that all and square it and divide it by it. expected. And then we take all those values and add them up. So it's a summation. So we could break this down line by line to find the actual chi-squared value. Equals the number minus expected. So calculate that first part and all the way down. Then we calculate the this Value, observe months expected, and square it, and all the way down. And then we take this value, the O minus E, and divide it by our expected. And we can copy that all the way down. So after we do all of this, we need to sum or add up all of our chi squared values in order to get a value. It is extremely odd to get an even chi-squared value. I don't know how I did it. So there's two ways you can go from here. You could take that chi-squared value, go to a chi-squared test or table, look up to see if what's significant, 0 0.05, is there, and see if our chi-squared value is above or below it in order to reject or fail to reject. Or you could do it easier. So in Excel, there's a chi-squared test where you can take the observed, which is the actual range, so B2 through B6 in this case, and then the expected, C2 to C6, put it close parentheses, and it will return a p-value for your chi-squared. Sometimes you have known values. So for instance, if you are doing one based off of Mendelian genetics. So if you have dominant, recessive, and heterozygous. So for people who have to take AP Bio, or if you're doing this for other reasons, this is an example of one where you have um, not equal, but expected values. So, so let's say we had 132 flowers that show a dominant trait, 143 that have a recessive trait, and 312 that are heterozygous. And you figure this out through genetics or however you do it. So that is our observed. So uh, to figure this out, you had to figure out the total. So you sum everything up here. So we know our dominant and recessive will be, uh, so the genotypic ratio is 1 to 2 to 1. So 1 dominant, 2 heterozygous, and 1 recessive. So we could take this, 587 times 0.25, the 1, for 146.75. So... Same with the recessive, 0.25 times the total, and our heterozygous is 0.5, oh sorry, 0.5 times our total. So that would be our expected from a cross of two F2 individuals, sorry, F1 individuals. So we could do the same thing we did before, O minus E, E, 
squared chi squared so our observed minus expected is 132 minus 146.75 b12 minus c12 recessive is the same thing and heterozygous is the same thing take all those and square them and take this value divided by the expected and then we could sum them all up to get our actual chi squared value and then we could also do the chi squared test to get a p value equals chi squared test we have our observed we have our expected close it off and we get a chi squared of 0.25 so the fun thing about chi squared is even though this is bigger value and twice almost twice the amount it is barely any difference in the actual p-value. So the p-value has not may not have anything to do with the chi-squared. It all depends on your de degrees of freedom. So what we know in this is from both of these, our observed values are not significantly different from what we expected to find, which is important for making sure that we are getting things that we actually expect. Nothing is weird. Nothing is abnormal. Nothing happened. So like if you're talking about genetics, we didn't have a crossing over event.